two Nobel laureates, Olympic gold medalists, elite chess players, and well, me have in common. A hot off the presses science research paper published this week, one that's already made a splash, shed some light. At its core, the question that this research is asking is the same one at the core of my work as a founder and science communicator. What is it about people's lived experiences that shapes who they become over time? Now back to the study at hand. The researchers analyzed data from more than 34 thousand international top performers across science, sports, music, chess, and more. Across studies, the same pattern showed up. Early specialization can produce short-term gains, but people who are exposed to breath early on are far more likely to reach world-class performance later. In other words, when you learn, experience, and participate in a wide range of interests, activities, and environments in early life, your long-term outcomes are stronger. That kind of breath is one of the things that puts people on the long-term trajectory to become a top performer in their own right. Now, this research looks at one very specific kind of lived experience, people who eventually reach the top of their fields. My work and content looks at lived experience more broadly, how the environments we grow up in shape how we think, learn, and become who we are. So if you're interested in understanding the fuller range of lived experiences and what brain science teaches us about development, learning, and potential, you can explore my past work and content. And I'll be back with more brain science made crispy clear.